morning. My name is Joe Lax, and I am the team leader for the Volunteers and Medical Missions, or VIM, trip to Honduras for 2012. We will leave on the 7th of July and go to Honduras and included in our team of 20 this year from the United States, we have another group from Landa. This will be the second year that Land has gone with us from the nursing department. And we had a great experience last year and we're looking forward to the same thing this year. And uh, the trip is one that VIM makes on an annual basis to the central part of Honduras. We go to a town known as La Esperanza and stay at a Baptist Bible Institute there. They feed us, bed us down, provide shelter for us. And then we go out each day to various villages. And we currently, when we get there this year, we will pick up an additional 10 Hondurans as translators to include two dentists and a doctor and also two more American missionaries who happen to live in La Esperanza. We're looking forward to a great trip and a great time in helping these people that have less than we do. All right, I'm Chandler Todd here from Greenwood, South Carolina. I'm a family physician and I'm the medical director for our team to Honduras. We've got about two weeks to go before we leave for Honduras and we have our pill packing today. Um, I ordered a bunch of medicines, um, antibiotics, ibuprofen, Tylenol, adult and kids vitamins. I'll take some injectable medications and other things. And so tonight we spent about two and a half hours uh, getting all these uh, medications backed up, ready, uh, with our labels on in Spanish so that everyone will understand what we're, what we're planning on doing down there in Honduras. At 3.30 a.m., the Volunteers and Medical Missions team, including six Lander University nursing students, arrived at the Greenwood Presbyterian Church. We quickly packed a week's supply of gear and luggage and headed to the airport. We arrived at sunrise with a quick and safe ride on the Lander University shuttle bus. Wearing matching shirts, we were joined by other VIM team members from Arkansas, Alabama, Florida, and Taiwan. After checking baggage and security, we prepared to board our 9.45 a.m. flight to San Pedro Sula, Honduras. Heading south at 511 miles per hour, we quickly landed in Honduras. It was hard to believe we were in another country so soon, and thanks to great planning by General Joe, the bus was ready and waiting. Everything seemed so much like home, except for the palm trees. Our bus took us out of the city, through the rain, and into the mountains. We arrived at the Baptist Bible Institute on a cool, damp afternoon. We soon learned this was a place for personal reflection, 
and inspiration. teeth right here in the back. You can see this one's rotted off, that one's rotted off. Make sure they're numb. Usually you can check it by uh, mashing a gum line. You know, there's been a language difference. It's hard to tell, but he's not moved. His eyes hasn't flinched at all. So uh, we'll just go ahead and keep going. And can you set this on that tray over there with the things? Oh my. The last one. It's game. It's what the fuck? I lined it up right here so it ain't Just be careful. Okay. Steps. The first step is to clean and we use a Lysol solution for that. And then after it's clean, it goes into a cold sterilization solution. It has to be in there for 30 minutes, so we time them. And then once it goes through the cold sterilization process, it goes into the third and final tell them that's just a rinse solution to rinse all the sterilizing solution off the instruments. Then they can be dried and reused. What we did, the uh, people are coming and seeing the doctors, and the doctors are writing their name on it and what's wrong with them, and the, what, the treatment. Yes. We take the bag and then we just fill, we put the prescription in the bag, we give it to the girls, and the girls are gonna put their names on all the medications. After that, it's gonna be explained to them how to take the medicines. Unless this person apparently, it says fever and cough, but apparently it's turned into an uh, upper respiratory infection. So we have amoxicillin. We're giving everybody vitamins so that they're getting their nutrients and uh, some Tylenol for pain. We are doing an ultrasound on a seven-month pregnant Miss Maria. 
And we're her baby. These are the baby mm -hmm. mice here, and we are trying to get a picture of the heart, her baby and mice. so that we can hear the heart. Mm -hmm. Put that on there. Yep, and then hit Doppler again. Right now we're looking at the abdomen. Um, keep going up here and let's see if we see. Will you tell her that this, it looks like she has two babies? Okay. Um, what I said that. Uh, Senora? Mm -hmm. One and one, honey. Huh? She's very happy. She's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of a busy day, a cup of Honduran coffee went very well. The lander team decided to take the dirty ride to catch some fresh air and take in the mountain views. Official, sir. Where will we go today? We're going to um, Togopala. Togopala. Togopala is about 45 minutes away from here. Very good. Everett, Lisa. Um, my name is Lisa Hill, and uh, my husband and I came for pretty much personal experience. Um, and I just kind of learned um, very humbled and really appreciate what we have. Um, I know that this is the only area that does the farming. This is the only part of Las Bronzas, the only part that does the farming. Um, but it's amazing that they do it all by hand. I think nutrition could be improved and sanitation could be improved, but stuff is just stuff. It's not eternal. No. So, um, I really like the point that was made earlier that uh, we're here to plant the seeds and the natives will God will bring the rain. Uh, the pharmacy crates, most of them go in there except 11 and 12 go up there. Ah, Daniel and Michael, Miguel. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Basically, there are four stations, and uh, that's Scotty over there, uh, the MP. And uh, Leslie, Dr. Myers, right here. She's also examining patients. And we have Dr. Todd over there. And me, I'm right here uh, with uh, uh, Edward. So I need you to hold the earwax and try to grab that. <laughs> The red, um, it's like a rubber material. Uh, we get the bag, we look at the name and the age, and then we uh, follow like what's here and make sure it's in the bag, make sure it's the right dose. So like this is vitamins, he's three. We write their name on them so that when they get home they'll know, you know, whose is whose. Because a lot of them come in here together. And he gets eye drops, so there's going to be um, a special label. Prescription is filled. I take it over here. And Eduardo will 
deliver these to the families and he goes over the explanation of every medicine. Okay. So I basically receive the medications and I give instructions to the people for the doses so they can drink very well the medicine. So se va a tomar una pastilla una vez al día. One thirty-five or seventy-seven. Hi, my name is Moi, and originally I came from Malaysia, but now I work as an RN in Rogers Mercy Hospital. Uh, this is the first time I joined this group, and uh, it has been a, a great team to work with. It has been a great a week for me, and for sure I will come back to join this train again next year. <laughs> My, my best day starting off. That's all right. Yeah. Say what kind of problems you run into? Well, a while ago one broke off, we had to dig it out. And this is not moving, so we'll just have to see. Got it. Woo. That's it. Uh. <laughs> Take it with you. para dolor en la cabeza y todo el cuerpo y inflamado ¿Sí? y calentura aquí kind of opens the eyes of us as nursing students and realize that they have needs um, inside other than medical you know emotional needs, spiritual needs and that's definitely part of nursing is addressing those um, aspects of it so I think this really helps us um, become more receptive to that <laughs> Very nicely done, Okay, guys, we're all here, and ladies, 
All set up. As far as lunch goes, we'll just play it by air and, and see whether we stop all at once or whether we do by shifts. So, okay, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for another night's rest. And for safe, we just ask that you would continue to bless us, Lord, and bless this team and the work we're doing. And we just give you the praise and the thanks. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go do it. Um, today is our third day in the clinic. Today we rotated students around, so we had um, students set in one station for two days and now they're rotating to a new station. So we're trying to let students get a good feel for three different stations, dentistry, the clinic, and also the pharmacy. And then they just observe everything else that's going on too with glasses and um, the evangelism as well. The principal of the school gave us this letter um, thanking us for coming, but also asking if we could take um, some of our some of the younger kids uh, who probably won't be coming with their parents um, and have them uh, dewormed as well as to get uh, children's vitamins. And so she wrote up this little official letter, but then she followed it with the names of all the kids, and it has their has their thumbprints on it as well. Filling the bags, putting the medicines in that the doctors write for on each patient. And I'm giving this one some ibuprofen and some Benadryl. And then I need to get some uh, eye drops for this child and I'll be done. Hi, my name is Vicki Haney. Hi, I'm Scotty Gersky. Bobby Snyder, I'm a registered nurse from Tampa, Florida. And the three of us have been friends for many years and just have been talking for years about going on a medical mission trip. We're all three nurses. I'm an RN and she's... Uh, I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner and I said before I'm a registered nurse working for the school system. We have really, really enjoyed this trip. Um, I think I can speak for all of us in saying that it was um, truly a spiritual trip for all three of us. It was really a blessing for, for both for us and I hope that we also were able to bless them and love on them in some way. I feel like I got probably as much out of helping the people as the people received from us. Is that right? Yes. 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 ¿Le gusta? Sí. Bueno, de nada. Adiós. Um, I've really enjoyed the trip so far. It's kind of amazing how many people we've actually gotten to see. Um, like I said last night, working in a free clinic and we only usually see 20 people in a day and we see over 300 people in one day here. It's really, truly amazing. This place is beautiful. It reminds me so much of home, uh, minus the palm trees. So, um, I feel truly blessed that I've gotten to go on this trip. Day four starts with some time downtown in the local market. A great way to pick up souvenirs or items that we may need. Mixing with the local culture was a wonderful experience. However, things don't always go as planned. Stepped in ox poop and walked it off and now I'm rinsing the bottom. And on top of that, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So it's turning out to be a real good morning. Hey, babe, we got the lunch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's take that fork down. You know, General Patton never went backwards. Well, no, we ain't going backwards either, but a hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> Just regrouping.
Yeah, grab a handle, bro. I can get it on the Okay, we obviously have screwed up this morning, uh, and that's okay. Uh, the Lord's got a reason for that, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, there's, uh, you've seen the crowd out there. <coughs> and, uh, Shanley, you want to pray for them? Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. Uh, Lord, I thank you for uh, the people that you've brought here. Lord. Worming and registration is right outside under that shelter. The glasses are under that shelter. The docks are here, the pharmacy's next door, and the dental's over there. Okay? Uh, we got downtown today and uh, we got a little bit lost. Uh, the bus and the rest of the convoy got separated, so we're getting a late start today. There's a large crowd at this uh, community, at this village, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, everybody's got their station set up, so we'll go around and we'll show you how that's going. Okay, well, um, today is the fourth day that we're working today, and we are in Monquecagua. My name is Eduardo Mejia, and uh, I will be the translator for the doctors in the area of medicine, and um, it's, it will be a pretty busy day, and I uh, hope it ends well. <laughs> Hey, my name is Amanda Belcher. I'm going to be a senior at Lander this year in the nursing program. We are about halfway through the week and um, everything has gone great so far. We have seen over a thousand patients already and everything has just gone wonderful. Until this morning, we kind of had a little rough spot. We got here a couple hours later than we had planned on and we had to set up our clinic later and behind schedule and we already had hundreds of people lined up waiting for us. But once we got in there and we got going and everyone pushed through and we worked really hard and um, we were able to pull it out. I think we saw over 400 patients today, so it's been very successful. Hello, my name is Amanda Rostron and I will be a junior at Lander University this fall in the nursing program. Um, welcome to Honduras. I've spent my time working in the clinic, working in the pharmacy, and tomorrow I will be working with a dentist. So all of us have gained a wonderful experience this week. God really is showing himself here in Honduras as we not only impacting ourselves but helping the natives as well.
We're going flash. That's good. Let's get on the bus. Move out. My name is Lauren Johnson and I am a junior two nursing student at Lander University. Uh, as a nursing student I've got to experience a lot of different things. So far I've been in the pharmacy for two days and the dentist for two days. The pharmacy is really cool because you get to see all different types of medicines and you kind of become familiar with them and, and what kind of symptoms need what medicines and so. And the dentist is really cool because you see almost instant pain relief um, from infected teeth and abscesses and um, just teeth that are rotting. They just get them out and these people, you know, they're so grateful and so thankful because their pain almost goes away immediately. My name is Heather Rainfee and I'll be in my junior two semester this upcoming fall and the people here just remind me why I do nursing and uh, you just learn how to love on people. We got it set up, we got it ready. Hi, my name is Genesis Belinas Perez. I'm actually born from Philippines, Manila, and I moved here in Honduras with my family uh, about 16 years ago. We found out that we love I love missions, and then Dr. Cruz, my pastor here in Honduras, he taught me about Vim, and then he said that they need some translators, so I go with the Vim for uh, this is my I think nine. Uh, trips with the beam. I hope you can come here in Honduras and do this uh, not for having fun but you know do the what God can do in your lives. So here we are on our last day of the clinic. Um, a few weeks ago we did a pill packing and packed up uh, about $2,700 worth of, of medicines and um, amazingly, we've made it through this week. We've seen almost 1,600, a little over 1,600 patients. We're finished up our last clinic today. And uh, our medicines, for the most part, have lasted. We still have a, a few of our liquid medicines around, and we still have uh, some of our ibuprofen and Benadryl and, and other things. And so we've, the Lord has, has blessed this trip in a, in a good way where uh, we had enough medicine for most everybody that came. Okay, guys, we wanted to just talk to y'all a little bit about this week as we're drawing to the end of our clinic. And just, I wanted to say that I, your group has been amazing, the way you've come together. And I've been really impressed how you, especially setting up clinics, just jump in there, put stuff together. I haven't really had to as you have been able to see from the video, this has been a very successful trip for us. Uh, we had great participation from the land of students and everybody else that was on the trip. Uh, we saw in five days in five different villages a total of 1,800 patients. The trip was a great success. I've led, this was my 19th trip to Honduras, and by any stretch of the imagination, this was probably the best team that we've ever taken. And uh, we just give thanks to the Lord for that.